Hello, my name is Dominic Hodgson, and you are watching a video that hopefully is in slightly better quality than some of the others, at least camera-wise, than others on the channel have been before this point. I just wanted to note this fact. So previously, I have been doing all of the filming and like editing and uploading via my iPad because that was at the time the best camera that I had at hand. And then there was other complications with like getting files off the iPad and so forth. It was just, I know I'm not the most technically savvy, there probably were other solutions, but it's just what I went with at the time. But that did mean that basically this became everything that my iPad was doing. I had to make space, get rid of everything that wasn't dedicated to making these videos from it. So when now I, for my birthday, have got a new laptop and then also was otherwise gifted so a new camera and some other stuff to go with it, Hopefully this means that I can transfer over to using that new laptop. And I'd also, again, old laptop, yeah, would not have worked well for doing this kind of thing. It was quite slow and struggling with what I was doing with it anyway. But yeah, hopefully we can transfer over to doing that now for these kind of, all the videos that are going to come after at least. Just regarding the camera and stuff like that specifically, though, as I say, that was... When I say that was gifted by someone, it's not the same way that the laptop was a present. It's that the person who gifted it to me had them and didn't think they needed them for the moment. They also don't know if they are going to need them again in the future, so if that happens and I have to return them, fair enough. So we'll just try to make the most of these as we can while we have them for the moment. And again, hopefully this is all coming out in a clearer image. I think it did so when I did some test recordings just a little bit before. I also, also then had some fun you know, trying to work out why the whole footage was flickering. Turns out you have to change the frequency or frame rate or whatever it was to match the electric lights. Maybe that's something other people know. I didn't, so that was a new discovery. And also having to find on this thing how to turn off the autofocus because it was constantly shifting backwards and forwards throughout the entire thing, which would have made for an annoying experience to watch, I'm sure. But also, as part of this, just with having a new setup, now that I have, like, I can move around a bit more with the camera and the laptop, and I also, it also came with some other lighting stuff as well, which means I'm not bound to this spot, which is otherwise where I can get good lighting in this house. And I thought, oh, maybe I can move around, try out some other backdrops, you know, to give you something slightly more interesting to look at than just my face against a blank wall like this. The one place in the house that I did alternatively want to film in was here in front of this backdrop cabinet thing because I felt that at least is something interesting. The problem is, as is the case in most of the places in this house, which is why I have been previously relegated to just film against the wall, is that the lighting is terrible. I'll get on to the fact that my face is brighter in a second. Annoyingly, actually most of all is the glass here, the fact we have a reflection of the window on the other side of the room. I've tried lowering the blinds, but that still shows up just as much. I've tried opening the doors so that there's actually not a glass in the way to reflect off of, but that just looked weird. I've tried like in the evening and at night to not have the daylight coming through the window at all. But of course, because of how dark that is, that then requires the overhead lights on. I've got another light in front of me actually that could potentially be used for illuminating recordings. But for that, we then get back to this problem of my face. Obviously this isn't, isn't exactly the same as then because again it's still daylight but I've turned the lights on now and if you can tell just from how the clips are shown next to each other, again, just especially this part of my head, forehead uh, just becomes like a bulb and that is annoying to just wash out my features even because it's like a, one of those sliding um, lights where you can like di uh, dimmer, whatever it is. Even, even on the dimmer settings it still had this annoying effect and I couldn't get rid of it so I mean maybe you guys think it's fine, but yeah, annoyingly I think because of this, because of just the lighting issues and so forth. Also, the fact that uh, if I can just do this quickly, um, we have I have to stack the laptop on top of some books in order just to get it the right height in this case, because I'm on the table. Yeah, this is just not the most efficient of, that's not the same position, whatever, not the most efficient of positions, so I will be returning to back over here at least for the foreseeable future. Now, I don't really know if this was a video that many people are going to have been interested in, just update-wise, new camera, whatever, but for me, someone who really isn't that tech-savvy and is still having to 
cl- try to keep a hold of the past of technology and whatever. It's to have something new like this. You know, it, it, it is interesting, and as you can tell by the fact that this video exists, something that I did want to note upon. But either way, if you have made it to the end of this video here, or to this point at least, to round off with here for you is just a cliff of me while I was trying to set this all up yesterday to see what, what would work best.